Sun's coming up in Vegas. It's a lovely morning. It means it's the first full day of the huddle. Huddle 13. Huddle 13. And we are starting today off with our give back, breakfast and give back. And it's going to be, there's so many things planned this weekend because there's lots of things to do in Vegas. But there's so much more to Vegas than what you think. So, yeah, so I'm looking forward to just sharing some of our favorites with the crew. Yeah. And well, then they've got their favorites. If you haven't stayed at the Oasis RV park, this thing's massive. It's like 700 sites. It is massive. <laughs> All right, breakfast. I'm gonna roll the intro and off to start this amazing adventure. Last night was fun meeting everybody and hanging out, but today, boots hit the ground. <laughs> A man and woman left their home to switch things up and go on the road. They didn't know where they would go, but it's gotta be better than staying You ready? Welcome to Switch Crew World! Oh yeah, I know. Most of you are like, oh, we're really tired. Yeah, that's a thing. Here's the deal. Before we start waiting for people to come in, but let's just go ahead and let me do a quick prayer real quick uh, for our food, and then we'll have you start running through the line. That way we're not all pumped up. Is that fair? And let us just enjoy our fellowship with each other. Amen. Amen. This is huddle number 13. Oh, gosh. I know. Lucky 13 in Las Vegas. I couldn't plan that one if I tried. If you have been to 10 or more huddles, take a seat. Huddle Hall is our first time huddlers. We just want to say thank you for coming. Okay, so first group is, they're setting up for the hurricane disaster relief bags, right, Sheila? Yes. yes. And those are going to go to Convoy of Hope in their headquarters. And then we have Catholic Charities. 19 people specifically went to go help there. Yes, they are serving a meal, um, preparing that meal and getting that meal ready for some clients that um, they're working with there. And then we are now going over to see what's going on at Salvation, Salvation Army. Army. Then we come back to pick all this other stuff up and take it over to Convoy of Hope. There's always a lot going on in Get Back Days. That's okay. I'm gonna make it look spiffy. This is bad. Anytime you lose, all these people show up. And they said the last people to walk in and get to clean the toilets. <laughs> Fine. That's the last person. <laughs> no, he's like, where are we going? But it's like, I don't even know. Holy. We, I am here with Kanan. She is here with the wonderful Salvation Army. It's the biggest one here in Vegas. And we are here helping do a lot of cleanup. It looks like there's a lot of trash that needs to get taken care of. Here. And share with them kind of like how many people you sleep a night here and kind of the needs. So if you're traveling through Vegas and you're looking for somewhere to plug in, she said, we need volunteers every day. Yeah, all the time. So we are seeing a thousand people come through this campus every single day and every night we sleep about 500. We have um, homeless and also homeless veterans here. Okay. Yep. A lot of homeless veterans. A lot of homeless veterans. Okay. And then there's always needs from maybe what? Serving food? To serving food. Up, yep. Serving uh, food, cleaning the campus. Clean the campus is a big one for us because we just don't have the staff to accommodate it. So. Yeah. 
Yeah, and we brought, I think there's probably 40 or 50 of us that I think are heading over this way. We're kind of all scattered out in some different things. Yeah, but different departments. Yeah, it's going to be good. Hopefully make a big impact and help out. Thank you. We appreciate you so no much. No problem, Kanan. Yeah, thank you. Ever feel like you're fighting an uphill battle? It is definitely uphill. <laughs> <laughs> What'd you learn? Okay, so I learned that this whole corridor down here in the Vegas area is where they put majority of like the um, areas to make it convenient for those that are homeless or that are in need so that they can find all the different services. But I also learned that that big building back there and the smaller one, there's a lot of veterans that are here. Hmm. Um, they have a, a vocational program where they try to help them just kind of get back on their feet and with all the services that they need. So there's up to up two to months to two years is two, something she said. Two months she to two said years, yep, depending upon what program that they're in and, and all the different er things that they can use assistance with. But there's over, over 200 and some beds here that are just for veterans. Interesting. So we're working in another area back here where they're working cleaning up and, and stuff. It's always a lot of clean up. Yeah, they and just they, don't have time for yeah. that. I mean, with all the other things that they need to do, landscaping Most. is one of the last things that really needs to yeah. get done from, from the staff perspective. But this building that we're cleaning up here, this is a veteran's, this is veteran's housing. Nice. Okay, I gotta go back to hauling trash. <laughs> I guess we all have our gifts. I all trash to dumpsters. Lunch time after doing this amazing little give back. It's time for everybody to regroup, grab some food. Look at this. It has solar panels up there. That's pretty cool. Tonight we're doing a progressive like potluck, so we're having a little drink, three or different places. We're doing a little poker. Second shift's coming in. Look at this. This is awesome. We we'll come in. Come on, right here, right. Oh my gosh, that's dangerous. Man, this is a much bigger group. You guys are a bigger group. Oh gosh. All right, so we're going with the fall theme here. So a little apple cider sangria. So grab a card and I'll take like six of you in uh, for a quick tour. And then the Todd's gonna- No, she didn't cut the cards. Todd's gonna entertain you out here. All right, now let's go get some grub. I hear there's some good potluck food going on over here. Close out a nice evening. Everyone went to do their own interest activities today, so a lot of hiking, biking, a couple on a motorcycle, uh, all kinds of little things that people have done. Some went into the strip, some went shopping tonight, potluck, and then a get together for desserts, I believe. All I have to do is follow my nose. <laughs> it's like dueling sights. Oh, see what I mean? It's already dueling. 
I'm gonna sneak around this corner. <laughs> Are you full? I am. Not yet. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it's empty, Todd. It, That's empty. It's taken care of. Yeah, it is. I mean, There's more. How you doing, sir? Hey, good. I'm sneaking in. Good morning. This morning we have a wonderful service set up. Coffee and donuts. So your boy Todd gets to go down and help get everything set up before everyone shows up. So we're going to do that this morning. It's been an amazing weekend. It Vegas is so unique because there's so many different things you can do. So a lot of us have spent time going to do different things here. So it's been a unique huddle on that aspect. But today we've got a tour set up at a mob museum. We have this amazing dinner planned tonight all together downtown on Fremont Street. So it's going to be a good time. Definitely going to be a good time. And if it can encourage you or inspire you or challenging challenge you, then that's a win. That's called living life together. Or more likely, I might say something that you disagree with. And that's okay too, because that is the beauty of the switch it up culture. We can we can we know we like different RV types, we like different manufacturers. We have different religious, different political, different sports team views. <laughs> but yet we can still like come together and we can love and one, one another, we can support one another and we're just here for each other. And that is the beauty of the culture of what we have here. We can disagree, but we can love each other and be united. And so if I say something that you disagree with, it's okay. But one of the toughest things for me lately was the simple fact that we were on the East Coast. You know, we were at the Hershey, we were at the Hershey RV show, and we needed to make it from Hershey, from that side of the country to this side of the country for commitments we had at the Balloon Fiesta and then at this huddle. And then there's this devastation that just happens in North Carolina and Tennessee and Florida. And we have friends over there, and we have Switch crew over there and they are going through some really tough stuff. And for those of you that have been to a huddle before, you know our heart is just to help others. And you know the reason why we put the LED wall and the concert system and the platforms on, on the spacecraft is our heart is, is to one day utilize that in the disaster relief. So imagine just driving right by it and we're headed out here and my heart is I just hurt and I feel helpless and like I'm not doing what I need to be doing because the very thing that I want to be driving to, I'm driving away from. And that was a hard moment. But this is where my personal struggle of me, who I am, comes into play. You see, they know the Lord created each and every one of us with different skill sets, with different abilities. And it's our job throughout our life to just nurture them, to discover them, develop them. And one of my skill sets, um, I feel, and my past bosses have feel, is I have this ability, I see the big picture, and then I'm able to chunk it down to what do we need to do to get from A to Z? Like, how are we going to get there? What, what team do we need in place? What people, what skills, what infrastructure, what organizational plan? Like, how are we going to get there? I enjoy figuring out the path. The problem with that is I see it, but I suck at patience. Yes. Oh, wrong time. I don't necessarily lack patience. I just suck at implementing patience. And so to, those two skill sets do not, those, those two things are a conflict. I see the big picture of what I need to do, where I want to go, because I'm laser focused, like, okay, I see it. Let's run. Anybody else relate? And then you just don't have the patience to let it all come together. 
Start to your right. So we decided to bring everyone to the Mob Museum here in Vegas to check it all out. Switch we take over. <laughs> she needs me to read. I can't read, I didn't bring my glasses. <laughs> I'm getting an audio tour. Right in there, right? <laughs> this seems very appropriate. Recouping from surgery, but my uncle was still on the team. They had an Uzi with a silencer and had a bunch of explosives, but they had to be careful because the FBI and local law enforcement were watching Tony 24 7 around the clock. They're all over him all the time. Time goes by, they can't get Tony, they can't get close to. To end the evening, we've rented out this place called the park on Fremont Street. And everyone's already here early. You guys you guys are like early. Yeah we're military. It's called it's called hungry. <laughs> hungry. <laughs> I've got to see about the sound system. And there's Megan just went in. In here? Yeah Megan just went in. Oh, this is fancy. Wow, look at this. This is, this is amazing. That looks really good. Right? Yeah. So Switch Crew is all sitting outside, waiting to come in. We've got the sound system set up. We're gonna own this whole place for the next three hours. It's pretty awesome. We've got our own bouncer. What's your name? Rob. Rob's our bouncer. We got it. That's awesome. Oh yeah, he's a concierge. He will concierge you right out the door if you get out of control. <laughs> no, we're we'll be good. We're good. We promise. What do we got here? <laughs> what do we got chicken. here? Do we need more? Oh, drink no. chicken, drink chicken. Oh, <laughs> oh my. Oh my gosh. Sheila. <laughs> that is beautiful. That is absolutely beautiful. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that is that's a bling. Oh, you guys are all hilarious. So apparently, right now we are uh, going to check the zip line. So the switch crew has decided they're going to go on an adventure and try to do the zip lining down Fremont Street. The crew is normally very reserved, but something's happened. Something is going on. Something is on. <laughs> I will say it is always an adventure. This was not even on the game plan. Can I give you a side note? Here's a side note. This LED wall that's up here, this company, we talked to about doing the LED wall on our RV, and they were way too much money. They wanted $80,000 to do our wall, so I can't imagine how much money that is for the whole thing. We are going with zip lining. 
well, I can't use the camera. So, but there's, we're, we're doing it, I guess. So it'll be fun. <laughs> it's like, it's like, Make it to the last day. Don't forget to smile. All right. Next floor. Last morning of the huddle, heading down to do some coffee and donuts, say goodbye to everyone. Could be a fun travel day for many because it's high wind advisory, so I don't know if everyone's going to stick around for another day, what's happened, but another amazing huddle, really, truly a lot of fun. Look at this. Just so you know, this is not part of the, the competition, but it is timely. I don't know. I don't know what the name of that elf is. <sighs> okay. It's over. Another huddle. Our 13th huddle is in the book, Sheila. Yes. And as always, my favorite part is just hanging out meeting new crew, seeing the people that we've met before, and just continuing to grow those relationships and watching other people make new relationships. Yeah. It's my favorite part. But, got a great give back. There's so many things that happened, and all the inside little stories that happen at a huddle are always the funnest things. Um, but the mob museum was absolutely amazing. Much better than I anticipated. And like, then doing the zip lining, which was kind of an afterthought after the well, whole Well, we were dinner. all just hanging out on Fremont Street. We kind of just experienced all the different little pieces of Vegas. Yeah. And that's kind of what we do at a huddle. Um, just kind of go experience the area, but make those relationships and memories. We create memories together. Now, 2025 is getting ready to be launched with yes. some of our events. Yeah, we're doing huddles in uh, California and Oregon and South Dakota. <laughs> Not to mention the United Rally that's happening in Tucson. So yes, to and find, a trip in Alaska. <laughs> find all of our details. Yes. You might want to be paying attention to certain things so that you can, you know, participate in next year's adventures. Yeah, you want to come build memories and meet the most amazing people and that's why you come hang out so at our events be on the lookout for crew campouts and huddles and experiences go to go switch it up.com or Sheila what they should do is they should download the app mm -hmm. and find all the things you need right in the palm of your hand right there they're right just there. right there sometimes they're right under your nose don't even and you don't even it. notice <laughs> But we truly enjoy everyone that came. It was such an amazing time. So whew, closing down 2024, we're just going to do some adventures to the end of the year and then regroup and off we go again. Yes. And these friends of ours, they are off to Seattle. They came all the way for the huddle and they're off and they go. Yeah. So hopefully that helps somebody and we will see you in the next little adventure that we have. Absolutely. Bye. <laughs>